Hello YouTube, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about API keys and how they can help you to get um, more results, um, hopefully more 1080p results um, when you're looking for whatever it be movies or TV shows. Um, so um, first of all what is an API key? Well API stands for Application Program Interface. Um, you don't really need to know that. Uh, it doesn't make any difference whether you do or not, but that's what it stands for. Um, what an API key uh, does is enables um, a computer, or in this case uh, your Kodi um, machine, to access parts of uh, websites that otherwise, well, that without the key, they wouldn't be able to. So in this instance, it allows Kodi to access all the lists of streams um, that are out there. So um, each add-on will have a generic API key anyway, um, but as an add-on gets more and more popular, that API key is used more and more and more. Uh, sometimes the hosts and um, providers um, will start to block API keys and you might start to see um, your results dwindle. Um, but you can make your own, it doesn't cost anything, it's very very straightforward to do, all you need is the internet, um, so we'll show you how to do it. Um, what I want to do before we show you how to do it is just to show you the difference it makes. So in here I'm using the Covenant add-on and I'm just going to select um, Batman vs Superman. And we're going to let this run. I will skip to the end of the search and we'll have a look how many 1080p um, results we get. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my own API key in uh, for provider and I'm going to show you how to do it, like I said. And we'll compare the results. Okay, so that's run. So there's lots and lots of sources, but here's, as, see, as you can see at the top, uh, we've only got four 1080p ones. And then there's all sorts. Um, as you'd expect for a, a movie that's been out for a while, loads and loads and loads of sources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now enter my API key into Covenant and I'll show you how to do that. So we need to come back to the um, Covenant first menu and there'll be something very, very similar in any add-on that you're using. So um, obviously I can't explain it for every single add-on, but it's very similar. So in hitting uh, Covenant, we're going to Tools, we're going into Accounts, and you'll see here, oh, I've moved off it straight away, you're starting to see API, API, and these are all the different um, accounts you can use. So down the bottom is the one I want to, or I will be showing you, is the Luke one. Um, so this is the provider we're going to be looking at in a second. So I already have an API key, so I'm going to put mine in. It's quite a long um, random list of letters and numbers, so I'll just copy and paste it and hit OK. So now, when we go back, I might have to reboot, restart Cody for this, we'll see. 2016. So we'll run the search again, and this time we should get a lot more results. So once again, we'll fast forward to the end of the search. Okay, so we've run the search. So here are the four that we had previously. But you'll see now, but this is with the AP, with the Alouk API key, all of these extra 1080p sources. So previously we had the option of four, and what have we got now? 24. So you've got 20 extra options, just in case any of the other streams aren't working. So hopefully you'll agree that is pretty useful. So what we're going to do next is we're going to show you how to get yourself an Luke API key. Okay, so first of all, you need to go to the Alouk website. So as you can see up here, um, HTTPS, um, colon, slash, slash, so it's accounts.alouk.ee. Um, and then you're going to get this box. So we need to click on register. So create yourself a username, email address, and your password as it can as it says here. Choose your privacy options, it's entirely up to you. Um, click on register here. Once you've done that, um, you will need to just verify something in your email inbox. Um, so it takes literally 10, 20 seconds, dead, dead quick to do. Once you've got that, you will need to log in. So I'm just gonna log into mine. So, up 
Peers, your API key, we talked about that, and that gives you 200 video links per day. Um, you can go through that quite quickly, if I'm honest, depending on how many search results you have, but you can boost that to 10,000 links per day, which is going to be absolutely plenty. So you can either do that by paying money here, $9.95, um, or you can use this option here so you can temporarily increase the api key uh, limit by solving the capture dead does straightforward to do uh, that gives you 10,000 searches a day and it will also then run for 30 days as well so you don't have to pay anything dead dead straightforward so that's how you do it um if you have any questions please put them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to get back to you as soon as I can. So that's the Luke one. So we'll just show you where to put it in again, just to, just to redo it one more time. So we've come to tools and we're in accounts and we're scrolling down until we get to a look at the bottom. And this is where you're just going to, you're going to click here and put in your API key and um, dead straightforward. So XPO, feel free to, I'm with, I would, I would encourage you to, um, explore all these other bits and pieces as well you know if, if you want to use debrid have a look really really good we're not doing that in this video but have a look um set up a tracked account you know all these other things um just so you get more familiar with doing bits and pieces within Kodi. so hopefully you found this useful hopefully you'll go away and get yourself uh, an aluk api key and get yourself loads more sources um to uh, to choose from so if you have any questions it comments below thank you very much um if you like what you've seen um, why not give us a thumbs up um and it would be wonderful if you could subscribe so hopefully it's been helpful uh, thanks for listening take care see you in the next one